Well, hello, Virgo. Beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in and this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Jupiter signs. So welcome or welcome back Virgo to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, Virgo. So, oops, okay. But we're going to start that over again and get your cards out again. Okay. Okay, so, there we go. All right. All right, Virgo, so I hope you are doing well. So, so very well. Oh, you're, uh, so just, you know, taking a look at your energies of what you do not see coming for the spirit animal deck, you had number 55, the snake spirit with time to heal. So moving forward, what you don't see coming is you stepping into healing something. Um, and maybe it can be in regards to a heartbreak, maybe either present or previous heartbreak, but three of swords. Um, is what you don't see coming. So I don't believe that this is a heartbreak that is happening for you, but I do believe that it is a um, heartbreak of some sort that is needing to heal. So I, our, your oracle card was the card that was fear so three cards came out here i'm only going to take this one because i feel like that was yeah i'm feeling that that was the one all right so time to heal with snake spirit fear but also heartbreak so maybe there's you have some sort of Fear of a heartbreak, fear that maybe your heart will be broken, but, you know, it is also time to heal that fear within yourself, and maybe you're being guided to step into something that is new for you, and it's taking you outside of your comfort zone, but you're being guided to it because it's something you may be, you're ready for. So we never are given anything more than what we can handle. And so spirit knows when we're ready for certain things and we just have to trust. So, all right. So we saw that your spirit animal is number 28 with frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. So Taurus got frog spirit as well. And the only reason why I took frog spirit is because it's the one that flipped like when it came out, it flipped. So I knew that this is the one that was meant to be out. So frog spirit, you're getting frog spirit as well, Virgo. So you're being guided to clear out the clutter. And it's so funny because this today is the first day that frog spirit has came out when it came out for the Taurus reading. And now it's come out twice for both you and Taurus. So yeah. So also there's a lot of green energy here, again, green and around your name and green in here, which is heart chakra healing. So yeah, absolutely. So when, you know, you look at the time to heal, it is also heart chakra as well. So, and that has to do with heartbreak. So amazing. Perfect. The way spirit comes through. I love it. Okay. So let's read Frog Spirit for you, Virgo. All right. Clear out the clutter. Frog Spirit knows that while all other frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so you can feel content on your own lily pad. 
even when life isn't creating a total cacophony, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. Then, the next thing we know, our schedules and homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space. Even relationships need decluttering as they often become messy. Frog Spirit appears to tell you to clean house, prioritize what you need, and get rid of or give away the rest so you can have some space in your day and in your head. You don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you about the past. Along with physical clutter, friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down with unnecessary baggage. Now is the time to let go. Whatever you need will appear when you need it, so release your grip on all that clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit wants you to reclaim your space unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, and could-have-beens. Let go and jump. You are free from all that old stuff. Love it, Virgo. Love it. So, yeah, you're being guided again to clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter from your head and your life, whatever that means. All right. In your recent past, Virgo, you have card number 37 with fruition. So, harvest moon with fruition. So, I feel that in your recent past, there was something that you brought to fruition. Whatever it was, it brought in abundance into your life. But there's still something that is hidden about it is what I feel. So because this is a mask, you can't necessarily see her whole face. This abundance is hiding a bit. There's something that is hidden behind this abundance. It's not necessarily anything that is bad. It's just something you just haven't been shown all the whole picture at this time. But this is what you have brought into fruition for yourself. It's like spirit has more to give you, but you don't know what it is yet, but you are experiencing the abundance of whatever it is. And as I am recording this, today is the new moon in Cancer. And so today it is about, um, you know, planting seeds. The new moons are about setting intentions and starting new projects or, or, you know, writing down ideas, plans, whatever, whatever it is that you want to bring into fruition, whatever it is you are wanting to harvest when the time comes, whatever it is you want to bring you abundance. So, yeah, so take that energy, even if it's not the new moon in Cancer as you are watching this still use the energy of this video. Um, we have number 28 and number 37. Both of those add up to tens. And tens are the ends. Tens are like the end of the cycle to start a new beginning. And so you're getting it twice here with 10, 10. And that is a very powerful number. So I feel that you are coming to the end of a lot of cycles within your life, Virgo. So you also have in your recent past, you have the Seven of Cups with Delusion. So, what you brought to fruition was, you know, you had a lot of options. And you brought to fruition the one that was best suited for you. You saw through the delusion of, you know, um, any falseness or anything it's like you saw exactly what you wanted and you set that into fruition and brought that into fruition. And so it's like you chose your cup and you stuck with it. And so that's beautiful energy. You saw through the delusion and you did what you needed to do. So in your present energy, Virgo, you have number 13 with will. Will. So what I think of will right now is like with willpower. So I feel like you are standing in your own willpower. You are seeing what it is that you want to create and you are determined to create it. You have the drive, you have the willpower and the like you are ready to do it and so you're looking to see what it is that you want to create and you are stepping into that part of yourself so like there's another mask so I still feel that there are things 
right now to you that are still hidden. So you, you know, there are things that you are bringing to fruition and stepping into, but there's still a mask. There's still something that's hidden about it. And, um, it's, I, I'm not sure what it is because it will be different for everyone. So that's beautiful. Right now, your, <laughs> your tarot card is the eight of wands with speed. So this willpower is like, it's bringing in quick energy. It's because when we have a focus to put our energy, then that helps to speed that thing up. When we are actively working in a certain direction, it helps to speed things up. So I feel that this is whatever it is that you are putting your will into is helping you to bring into fruition whatever it is you want, like the next step more quickly. So, wow, that's beautiful. And stepping forward, you have card number four with acceptance. Acceptance. So, whatever it is that you are accepting, so you see, like, we don't know if the masks have come off in the future. We just see that there is full acceptance. And, you know, in this, you see that there's the doves that are flying away. The doves, and I think there's... Is there butterflies on there? No, but doves, it's all about peace. So stepping forward, you will be in a energy of peace because there are things I feel that you are accepting that maybe you didn't accept before, maybe because you didn't see them or want to see them, but you're stepping into a, it feels like a more mature place within yourself. And it's because you are accepting, I feel like, radical acceptance um, of the things that you don't have control over. So, that's beautiful. Your tarot card is the Five of Swords with Revenge. So, usually, <laughs> you know how they say the best revenge is served cold. I feel that this revenge that you get is the acceptance that you accept that there are things that you cannot change and so you do not fight them. You do not, you know, bring any chaos. You allow things to be as they are. You allow people to be as they are and you simply, you know, choose peace within your own life and what that means to anyone else is, you know, you it's not your business. You are simply choosing peace for yourself and you are clearing out all of the clutter from your mind, your body, your spirit, you know, whatever it is so that you can, you know, finally move forward, take off the mask and step into acceptance and yeah, live uh, your peaceful, peaceful life. Wow. Ah, oh, Virgo, so this has been another of your glorious readings. Thank you so very much for being here. If you found something that resonates with you in this, please remember to hit that thumbs up because it definitely helps out the video. And yeah, I would appreciate it. Also, um, your subscriptions are very sacred. And so if you felt this video was worth a subscription, then thank you. If not, then I thank you anyways for your time and hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one.